Hey guys, Boris Lasso BK Force. Welcome to Weekly Technicals for the Crosses for Jan 29th to Feb 2nd, 2018. And all of this volatility has created some really interesting opportunities in the crosses this week. And I have some um, unusual ideas that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully you guys will like them. There is, I think, clearly some very strong setups that are coming in on relative strength, relative weakness ideas. Uh, starting with, uh, one of the ideas I think looks kind of interesting, something we don't really talk about a lot, but definitely worth taking a look at this week, Cat Swiss because that seems to be in a very defined, clean downtrend. It's a very low volatility pair. So this is one of those kind of things that's interesting. You could trade this um, in a high volatility environment without, without too much volatility assumption. Uh, but there's a very clear downtrend with a resistance at 77, support at 75. And if you want to trade CAD weakness or Swissy strength for the next um, couple of uh, days, that may be very much worth taking a look at. Uh, the pair that looks really good on the charts is a turn pair. This is basically pound weakness trade, is euro pound on a turn side. We've created a very nice clean bottom here uh, at 87, with 89 now the near-term near target to the upside. And the other interesting trade, this is kind of both. If you want to trade Aussie strength and cable weakness at the same time, what looks like a clean failed lower double top, uh, is really very, very much in place. It may take a day or two for further persistence to the downside develop, but it's definitely worth worth examining this one. 177.50 is the resist, and support is 173.50. Let's take a look at the charts here. And we can go backwards. Let's start with the um, pound dot, because look at this sharp drop. Clearly a very, very strong momentum move to the downside. Uh, there isn't anything to catch it all the way until 72 effectively, but 73, let's say, is the near-term support here. A, a failed of a lower high here. Um, any kind of retrace, I think, uh, certainly you have to give yourself a lot of room here, but it's very much going to be contained within the 76, 76.50 area. And you have a lot of very decent analogs here that when it starts to kind of turn, it's more than a one-day affair. You, uh, it really tends, tends to be a very trendy little pair. Um, unless you get a complete change of uh, sentiment in, uh, in the pair. At this point, it's really sort of a pound weakness trade, and I think it has a chance to continue in the first two or three days of the, um, of the week. Uh, similar kind of a story on pound weakness and, and relative euro strength that I really like. Look at this double, double bottom at 87. Look at this beautiful candle today where they bought the lows, brought it to the highs. We're now looking to just very much, um, technically this is one of my favorite setups all week long, of getting long um, euro pound 87.75 here stop is around uh, basically 87 with a target somewhere around 88.50 maybe 89 over the next two or three days as this um, relative pound weakness to, to euro uh, comes into play um, and the last trade was the one i talked about the, the sort of unusual one the cat swiss but look at the cat swissy it's um let me just get rid of this sorry uh It's in a very clean, defined downtrend here. Broke very big support here at the 76 level. We're now you know, well below that. And so there's a reasonable chance here that we could continue all the way down to 75, which was the uh, support all the way back from July uh, levels. So the unwind here looked pretty decent to me. Um, I like this trade as a, as a slow, low volatility trade um, in a nice, decent trend that's defined by Cat Swiss. The, you are wrong if it gets up to above 77. But um, anywhere below that, it still continues to be a downtrend trade. Wish you guys the very best of luck of trading next week. Should be another super exciting week. And the crosses are going to be some of the more interesting opportunities. Boris Schlossberg, over and out.